All right, last day before Legos Island Summer 2022. Let's make it good. And I know exactly how to do that. And that is by creating a statue for every single CPPS that I joined in the last five years that have all now shut down. This was a recommendation by CoolCat33 on May 29th, and I accepted that. And yes, I mean every single one of them. And yeah, you just saw, I already uh, yeah. went to the world, because first off, as you guys can see, the lodge is back to normal. Memorial Day party is gone. It, I literally just cleaned it up right before filming this. So, anyway. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Let's go see which two dogs we get today. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the last time we do that before Legos Island Summer. <clears throat> Comment down below if you'd like me to still include this in the Legos Island Summer episodes. Oh, frick. I forgot to remove that, uh... Uh... You know, effect. Let me do that right now. I just realized that now. That doesn't feel weird at all. Like, I'm serious. That doesn't even feel weird at all. Not seeing it there. Because I barely saw it there. And um, if you're probably wondering why I had that the in the Memorial Day episode, reason put, it was to involve with the storyline. For no reason. Let's see who we get. Holiday. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're only getting one now? As opposed to two? What the? Where'd the Cool Get 33 one go? Dang it, I have to make a new one. But well, we still have Akka and Main. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll only have one dog today. And honestly, we haven't used Holiday in a few episodes. Let's go get him. Nice, he's right here. First, let's go put Akramin back where he rightfully belongs. Give me a second. This should not take long at all. Just gotta put him back in his tent. For now, until I eventually get him again. Now, comment down below if you would want me to do the whole dog dispenser thing in Legos Island Summer. Because, uh, yeah. I just want to know if you actually want me to do that. I'm not, like, asking, saying that I actually want that. But I'm just curious, do you want me to do that during Legos Island Summer? I just want your, um, answers in the comments down below. Either yes or no. I'm fine with either one. Alright, so, every single Stevie PS I joined in the last five years that have now all shut down. We already did rewritten two episodes back, which, dear God, I still cannot get over how beautiful this is. Yep, we already did clubbing and rewritten in the last um, episode, well, two episodes back, as I said. So, you're probably wondering, and I'm also going to wonder myself as well, where in the absolute heck are we going to put all of these? Honestly, I have no dang clue. Because this place has gotten so big. We might. Oh my god. We might actually have to extend it up again. But I don't want to do that. That looks, that looks just too weird. Oh, oh, I am so dumb. You know why? I can just do it right back here behind all the bushes. Nice. Let's get to work, shall we? So, to be able to begin, we're going to use the exact same statue, at least format, as the rewritten one for all of these. The reason why, and I'm actually just going to build the penguin itself off camera, and then I'll build the necessary things that were related to the server on camera just so I don't waste all of your guys time building all these statues 
all built the important stuff on video to make it more clear. Let me just get the actual penguin statue itself built myself for all of these. Oh, and because of that, prepare for a major time difference. It's currently 9.40 a.m. EST on Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. And uh, you'll see a major time difference in three, two, one. Okay, I did not expect to that take 25 minutes. I only did five because you can clearly tell I ran out of room. Let's get to the process now, shall we, of creating all of these. Oh, and thank God I did most of these on pause. By that I mean just make the statues themselves. Now we get to the good part. We're gonna do them in the order that I created the statues in. So, the first one being Penguin Oasis. Ah, yes. Now we're doing every server that has been shut down that I've played again over the last five years. Except for one. There is one server statue here that we are leaving out of this entire creation process entirely. And I think we all know exactly which one that is. The dreaded. Yeah, that one. That one has no reason to be featured here. After how many things it did to the CBPS community, which it made it cause a ton of servers, shut down in May of 2020. Anyone remember that? The point is, there is absolutely no reason for that one to be featured for those reasons alone and many others. And yet I still played it. That was before I realized how bad it was. The point remains, however, every single one of them, except for that, will be featured here. As all of the other ones were, were actually, you know, not bad at all. So, we're going to start off again with Penguin Oasis. Now, if you remember in that game, I changed my outfit consistently. However... Since there are so many outfits I went through throughout that game, over the, like the last five or so, or sorry, three and a, like nearly three years. Yeah. I have to choose between the many. And I thought, why not just do the first ever outfit I ever even had on that game? And I mean, literally, the first outfit I ever had on that game. Which was basically my final outfit in the original Cold Penguin, at least prior to getting all the memberships back on March 29th. Basically how I looked from when I was a non-member during the one on party. Just taking a look at this real quick so I know what to do, since this um, hat here was the blue miner's helmet. Also, I did wear this outfit in a good majority of the episodes back in the day, if you remember. At least I think that is. Oh, and yes, I will raise the hands up a bit more. I just had to see how far in I needed to raise them up. That was, um, I was gonna do that like after making the hat. Oh yeah, and holidays here hadn't forgotten yet um yeah i am glad i made a good majority of these statues off camera because it makes it way easier to get things done did we get it oh heck yeah that part's already done all right which one do we do next? That's hard as heck to decide. Knowing that... Um, is actually really hard. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this instead. I am going to do this shirt instead. The one that um, I did back on that game. Alright, 
This is actually not even taking that long. I thought this was going to take a whole lot longer to make. But apparently, it looks like I was wrong. Oh, and lastly but not least, we need to figure out... Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to do this or something for this? I mean, it's one of my most iconic outfits on this game. At least back then. Oh, wait, that's right. Uh, we had a few designs here and there. Uh, let's try the crying obsidian. Does that look good? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We're actually forgetting something. Much better. That surprisingly works. Actually, hold on. I think we can get something better out of that. Yeah, that looks way better. Basically it for that. What's to really say? Aside from the fact that uh Yeah. Not much really can be said here. Eh, it looks fine. I honestly can agree that actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about that. It actually looks pretty sweet. Nice! Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep it. Although, I think I could make that a bit better though. Yes! That's the one I need! There we go, that matches the outfit perfectly! Nice! It is complete. Of course, we're technically not done though, as we actually have to put a sign related to that game. At least the logo relating to the said game. Now I know we might have to raise the shirt up a bit. Which is like this. But that's okay. We can do that instantly. That's if we absolutely need to. Now how high did we do this? I just wanted to make sure. Because this might be the only time I used the Red Miner's Helmet. Or at least just a minor salmon in general. Okay. <laughs> we almost were there. Actually looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie to you guys that actually looks way better than I thought it was gonna intentionally look yeah, this looks way better than I thought it was intentionally gonna look hey, at least that's something of course um, we're gonna do kind of the same thing Uh, that we did here, except it'll be a bit different. The problem is, I don't have the exact colors of what the logo was. 
So I guess what I'll do is just I'll do it in like gray or something. Because if I remember correctly, every time I went onto the site, I saw the logo was in like gray or something. So if that's true, we'll see. All right, and let's see what we got here. Do we have it? Yes, we do. Now, hold on. We are going to get a sign right here. And what we're also going to do is we're also... Uh, yeah, we're going to write down how long I played the game. Oh, boy, it went on for a good while. Obviously not as long as rewritten, of course. At least for me playing that game, of course. No. <laughs> no. I played rewritten for way longer. But it's nice to appreciate, though. How far we actually went in this game. And I'm still proud of that. I'm still proud of how far I actually managed to get into the game before it unfortunately got closed down in 2020. Man, that was sad when it uh, was announced that it got closed. Or at least just when the staff closed it down. It was a nice game. It was a really nice game. I can always... I will always say that. Penguin Oasis was a great game. And... Of course, it's been uh, two years now. Since the game was uh, closed down. So... Yeah, that's something. Yeah, it's been over two years now. It is not to believe. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, that was 2020. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that's meant to go on this sign. Oh, come on. What's with my typing today? Okay, go on. Let's make sure I actually got it on the right one. Of course, let's put this 2017, and then of course put May 20th, because that day will always be iconic for something, at least on this channel. All right, and of course, let's highlight all of this. And now, we're going to put in the respective days that I played these. Oh, wait a minute, that's right, I actually already have all of these. We'll do pink, we'll do purple for that, and then I guess that. Uh, what else do we want to do? I guess we can do blue again for no reason. Oh, wait a minute. I did have pink out here for a reason. I don't know why. I just love using random cars. It's pretty fun. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That actually looks pretty cool. Nice. But the problem is... What in the absolute heck are we going to do this? Um, well, what are we going to put up here? That's what I was meant to say. Uh, yeah, I have no dang clue. We might just leave that out entirely. And, yeah... I don't know. I'll think about it. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should put um, above what I just wrote, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your feedback because I literally cannot think of anything right now. I'm actually serious. I actually legit right now cannot think of anything interesting to put on there. So why don't you guys help? That would be pretty sweet. Anyway, now that we have that first statue done, Let's move on to the next one. And that was Club Penguin Generations. May I remind you, every single one of these are gone now. So now I actually have to 
purposely remember that from scratch. From what I remember, though, I do remember one of my most iconic outfits on uh, Cold Penguin Generations. And that is the Cold Penguin shirt. And for some reason, when you had first, like, joined the game, you were randomly offered that shirt for some reason. So that was pretty sweet back then. Like, when you first joined Cold Penguin Generations back then, like, you were randomly given the Cold Penguin shirt. So I basically wear that for basically the entire time that I played the game. Which, that was only, like, a month and a half. Because the game didn't actually last that long. Yeah, the unfortunate part is Cold Penguin Generations didn't last that long. I think it was like the shortest CBPS that I ever actually played. Which, uh, man, that's. Uh, that was unfortunate. Hey, at least it happened. And, um, I'm gonna have to do, um, this in different colors. Like this and this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do like that in different color. Actually, let me. Yeah, let me do that. Yeah, that works. That surprisingly works well. I can't do the entire CP thing, but hey, it works. Uh, let's do, um, and, um, actually, yeah, I do actually have, um, something to put on this, which is pretty sweet. Um, uh, like I have an actual official logo. I do know what their logo was. That's one thing I can remember. Uh, straight from the server. Uh, also, did I mention this episode is preparing for the upcoming Chilling on CPPS episode where I join all of the servers you guys suggested. Yeah, this is just preparing for that. Getting myself ready to go back to the Cold Penguin private server content. You really think I was leaving that after we ran? Like I said in that video, no! <laughs> Trust me. If I did, I would have told you guys by now. And by that, I said no. Which means, it's coming back. I've just been, again, busy lately. I know I've said that a million times. But it really is true. I actually have been way too busy lately. So, intentionally, I joined the game only a month after at least. Just like rewritten. But... It was like a month and like three weeks after it launched intentionally. At least from what I can remember. Uh, the game was shut down on September 1st, but my last official... Uh, uh, my last official, um, uh, video was August 31st, 2017. So what should I even clarify that is? And I'll still put September 1st. Hey, it's exactly, it's exactly one year at, before the end of our uh, summer 2020, uh, 2018. That's a little hilarious. It's also the five-year anniversary day of the Seven Days of Fun 2017. And when I'm going to do something pretty cool for that. Just you wait. It's going to be pretty awesome. All right. Now we can actually make um, a logo for this. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, and then I realized I actually have to do more of this than I thought. did do a few interesting things, I'm not gonna lie though. That's one thing I'll say. They did do some pretty cool interesting stuff, like a few custom parties and whatnot. It was pretty cool. Even though I wasn't even there for that long. Actually, correction! There is actually one private server, sorry my mistake, that actually was um, lasted even shorter than Copang Generations. My bad, everybody. Apparently, I found another one. And that was intentionally both Club Penguin Light and Penguin Saloon. Yeah, those ones didn't last long. Oh, wait, and Club Penguin Advance as well. Oh, dang it, we have to put that one in here too, don't we? is something. And there we go. Nice, right? Done already. That didn't take long. Alright, that's right. We gotta light this up. Via this. Yeah, we gotta light this up. Anyway, those all look really good. Alright, and let's highlight the uh, said things. Like I said, uh, yeah, let's just highlight the said dates. Because they are really, really cool. Let's just do even more random colors. I don't know why. I, li I like 2017 yellow for some reason. I don't know. I just feel like it just looks cool. At least from what I'm understanding. Uh, what can I do for September 1st? What can we do for that? Yeah, I'll put it there. Oh, actually, I do know what to do for that one. There we go. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, let's put that arrow in blue as well. That looks cool. There we go. That's another one finished. Pretty sweet, huh? I know. It's crazy how fast we're actually getting these done. All right. The next one. Which one did I join after Club Penguin Generations. Hmm. Oh wait, it was Vintage Penguin. Right, it was on August 8th of 2017. That was like one of the most, like, most packed day for videos back in summer of 2017. If you guys probably remember that, don't you? At least for those who were actually around with me back then. Should know that. Uh, yeah, cause uh, <laughs> it happened. It actually happened. Like, it legit did actually happen. That was like one of the most jam-packed days for uploads uh, back in summer of 2017. My God, how is that almost five years ago? It's beyond me how that that was almost five years ago. But the point remains. At least we're making the statue here, and I already started in advance by doing this. And you know what? Let's just go a little crazy. And, uh... Day. Let's uh, do this. August 8th, 2017. To. Uh, right. I want to say. I don't even know. I actually 
forgot, when did we stop playing this game? I don't know, but uh, we'll come back to that later, though. Now, as for Vintage Penguin, oh, God, yes. I know exactly how this one went down. Oh, this one was cool. And my out for my, like, so during the 10,000 player celebration in early September 2017, they offered a jacket with the Vintage Penguin logo and colors respectively. I pretty much wore that jacket pretty much all the way until the game uh, closed down. So yeah, I think it makes sense that we actually wear it here. And yes, I'm being serious about that. This one is one I've been looking forward to making. Ever since I got the idea, because this one, this one alone is awesome. Yeah, this one alone is one that I've been looking forward to doing. Because my god, the jacket looked so cool back then. And it was all custom. Yep, looks awesome already. Now, I think we might actually be able to uh, change that a bit though, because it kind of blends into the beak a little. Just a little. Um, I think I remember it being like light orange or something somewhere in that case. Yeah, that kind of blends in a little too much. Uh, is there any way we could make that lighter in the process? Hmm. Yeah, is there any way we can make that lighter though? That works, but it looks a little too dark. Uh, what about the, uh, concrete powder? That would be pretty cool. How does that look? Yeah, that looks way better. In my opinion. Yeah, it doesn't blend in at all. And that actually is actually very similar to how the jacket actually looks. From the game itself. Back then. Yeah, I pretty much wore this for a good while in the game. Up until it, like, shut down. I completely forgot when that was. I'm being serious. I actually completely forgot when that was. I don't have a feeling it was sometime in 2019. Where it just randomly just like went down. Like entirely. It just like randomly went down. In 2019. Let's go. Uh, I will put the main colors in here now. Now, just like the, uh, uh, Penguin Generations one, we might actually have to do something about this. Yeah, that works. Yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a problem with the uh, logo. Yeah, that works. Now as for the actual logo itself on the other hand, yeah, that one we can get done easily. My god. That's nuts that I was able to get all these done. And nice, it actually fits! Holy frick, I did not think it was actually going to come out that way. Let's go, it actually fits. Nice! That actually looks really good. No, I'm seriously not lying here. That actually looks really good. Uh, 
All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, actually, I want to see how do the ones we have here so far look at night. I am curious. Yo, these actually look really good already. Oh my God, these look really good already. I'm really liking this. Dang, I'm actually getting really good at these statues. That's pretty awesome. Um, I guess we'll light this up a bit. Just so we can actually have those statues lit up. And also, because there's barely any lights on these statues. Like, literally barely any light on these statues. So, let's light them up. Just so we can get a bit more light with these statues. Yeah, that works even more than I thought it was going to work. There we go. That looks way better. Let's do that for the rest of these while we're here. Yeah, that looks way better. Why did I not think of that earlier? Nice. This already is looking fantastic. All right, all right. Which one did we do next? Hmm. Which one did we do after Vintage Penguin? I need to see. I'm pretty sure it was Club Penguin Reborn. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was Club Penguin Reborn. Dear God, that server was freaking awesome. All of these were. Rewritten being, yeah, that one's, that one's special. It was the longest one to last out of all of these ones that I'm putting here. Which is actually insane. Yeah. The problem with the Club Penguin Reborn one is uh ahem, I didn't have a I didn't have a main outfit, just like Penguin Oasis. That kept changing over time. Yeah, my outfit for Coping and Reborn kept changing over time, which meant I didn't have a main outfit that I always wore in the game. That is going to be a problem here. This is the one I actually started to get worried about when I when Google 33 suggested me this idea. I started to get worried about this one because I don't know what to use. All the other ones here, I actually had main outfits at the beginning of the game that I played them in. Oh, wait, that's right. We forgot to light these. My bad. Yep, August 8th of 2017. I'm really not sure. Now this one, Club Penguin Reborn, that one alone, I do know how long I was on that game for. The problem is, it went by two different names during its lifetime. The first one being CP Reborn, that's for short, of course. And it also went by the name of Waddle Up. Wait a minute. We could just use these two statues as those. The problem, like CP Reborn in Wano Up, I didn't actually have a main outfit. At all. Like, I think I changed my outfit every single week or something. From what I know. See, so yeah, that's the bit of a problem. I actually don't know what to do. Uh, 
Oh boy. So yeah. That's definitely something. What the heck are we gonna do now? Hold up everybody. I actually remembered I do I did actually have one iconic outfit on this game. But it was in the very early days of me playing the game. And that was this. Dang it. I think you can see where this is going. Sorry for not speaking for a few seconds. Uh, I was just focusing. Some way to prevent the uh, concrete from um, falling. Well, besides, of course, the trap doors, of course. y'all can see where this is going can you no actually comment down below if you can actually see where this is going because it's definitely going somewhere let me tell you it's definitely going somewhere yes my most iconic outfit on this game happened to be this beauty yep this was my um, I kind of got it on this game for some random reason, at least during the first few uh, months of me playing uh, Club Penguin Reborn. Now, as for Waddle Up, I'm not sure if I want to do that because I don't have an iconic outfit. Because, again, it kept changing over time. Just like this one. But, unlike that, I actually had an iconic outfit here. Which, in that term, is the one we're creating right now. And with that being said, it is complete. At least the outfit that is. Look at this. Who remembers this iconic outfit? Comment down below if you do. If you do, that shows you've been here for a while. The problem is, that logo, 
for this game is very similar to the Club Henry written logo. At least if you only do at least the letters. Uh, like the three iconic letters of the logo. It's basically the exact same ones as uh, Club Henry written. Because it uses the exact same three letters as that game did um, originally. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a problem here if that actually happens to be the case. But this actually looks pretty nice. Not going to lie. Oh, right, of course. Uh, let's light up this. Of course, so we can get better lighting. And yes, I'm doing all of this at night for no reason. Just to see how they look. Yeah, that looks great. I may have gotten the outfit a bit wrong, but that doesn't matter here. What matters is that we get all these out, um, all these statues done. Now, unlike Vintage Penguin, I know exactly how long this game even went for. And yes, that includes the Waddle Up rebrand. Um, as for me, though, I joined this game on August 21st. 2017 and well Club Penguin Reborn uh, I am just gonna fit in how long just this server in general lasted overall January 16th 2019 yeah me was shut down on January 16th, 2019. I know. That's a real shame. That's really unfortunate that it got shut down. Of course, though, everything comes to an end at some point. And, yeah, I didn't think, but I didn't think it was going to be that quick, like... Not bad. Last thing we gotta do though is of course this. The iconic blue arrow. Cause this is when I joined the game and then this is when it shut down. Of course, this logo is very similar to uh, this one. But, there are a few minor differences that do make it look different. One of the major differences is, well, this. The fact that it did this. And yes, I know, it's crazy to believe that I have to copy the exact same thing. But, it's worth it. One thing it did different, though, was that it did this. Which made it actually a bit different. And they're good. Playing this server, though. Oh my freaking god! It was beautiful playing this server for a good nearly two years. even after it rebranded to Waddle Up. I don't think we'll include it here though. Probably only just because uh, we'll be here a while. And that's saying something, we will be here a while. I just want to, I just want to at least include the original server. Oh no, 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 I did not mean, I did not mean to spawn spires up here. Dang it! Yeah, that happened, but the point remains, I'll respawn him soon. I'm not going to 
why, they actually did something with this logo. Make it actually look a bit different. Which, in my opinion, looks really cool. Of course, since it's pretty much the exact same thing, it looks a little bit identical. Of course. Of course, let's put the blue on here again. And just to make it a little bit different from the other logo. Although actually, we might want to do a bit different of a color variation though. Give me a second to do this. That's much better. What I did was I changed it from the concrete to the quartz blocks to make it a bit different from the rewritten logo. And of course, we have the iconic blue on here, which made it look even cooler. All right, now that we are done with that, let's move on to the next one. We'll not do Waddle Up just because we're gonna be here all day and that's technically still the same server. Yeah, both CB Reborn and Waddle Up were basically the exact same server. So do we really need to include both? I think we're already good with the original. Next up, if I remember correctly, the next server I joined after Clipping on Reborn, if, and I mean if I'm saying this correctly, was Penguin Lounge. Yeah, I didn't get that many videos on that server. You know, fun fact, I never even made a playlist for that server. I really should do that. I did have one iconic outfit, but it didn't last long. One of those being... The night vision goggles and paint outfit. I apologize it took me that long to say it, but I wanted to do it as a little bit of a dramatic reveal. For no reason. Anyway, what we were meant to do now is uh, this. This is, of course, the Penguin Lounge logo. Of course, we have to do this again. Now, from what I can understand, the day I joined this server, if I'm saying it correctly, 
was September 26th of 2017, the same day as the Backyard Videos 150th episode. Now, if I can remember correctly, I think... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We have to do it in the uh, original world. Colors. Um... The um, logo, I think, was in like these colors, respectively, from what I remember correctly. Oh, wait, that's right. We don't even need to do it that high up. No, it would look cool, though, but it doesn't have to be perfect. At least it's something, right? Right. Yeah, at least it's something. Oh, nice, we're already done. Okay, maybe not, because we still actually have to light these up. Dang it! Yeah, I forgot we still have to light these up. And wait, did I even finish the back of the outfit for this? I'm curious if I did or not. I'm curious if I actually finished finish this or not. I'm not sure. But at least it's something. Let's light up this as well. As it doesn't give us that much light here. Yeah, we should probably finish the back of the paint outfit. Yeah, that works. That works out quite nice. Penguin Lounge. That is the next one. I do know when the game actually closed. That's one thing I do know. And I also know when I joined the game as well. Which is pretty sweet. Fun fact, I joined exactly a week after the game opened. There's your little fun fact. I just love putting them in these random colors for literally no reason. Nice. All right, so that is super cool. But wait, do I really have to have the goggles that wide? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I prefer that way more. All right, and well, we're out of space for um, this. We're technically out of statues to make. I have to make more of them, but you guys see the problem though? We're out of space. We're like literally out of space. Do you guys see the problem? We are literally out of space for um, uh, these uh, statues unless you guys can see any more I can't find any more space
Oh boy. Woo! Yeah. We're literally out of space. Man. What are we gonna do now? Oh wait, I forgot to light these right here. Nice! I knew something felt missing with that statue. No, really. You can clearly see we're out of room. And that is why I only built five statues. Where the heck are we gonna put the rest of them? Well, well, well. Looks like I forgot to finish something, didn't I? It's probably over ten hours later, isn't it? Or even, heck, maybe even 12 hours or I don't know. It's been, it's been a lot of hours. And uh, I never finished. I never actually finished. Wow. And uh, here's the thing. We're still technically not done with this whole thing. And I still never found any other place to put the rest of these statues. It's just there's literally no space left. I mean, look at this. Where the heck am I supposed to put the rest? If you guys don't remember, this one and this one, um, these two are being saved for the next two dogs we get on this island, so that's why those are still empty. You know what? I think we'll come back to this concept eventually. Um, if not, um, I, well, I, we're obviously going to finish this, but not right now. And secondly, this video is over an hour long. I did not think it was going to be that long, but I came to a realization. When are we going to finish this? Tomorrow was Legos Island Summer 2022. And normally I take three months off of the regular Legos Island series. The problem is we didn't actually finish today. Which means we might actually have to do another Legos Island episode during Legos Island summer. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Hold on, though. We have done this before. At least doing actual Legos Island episodes during Legos Island summer. That has been done before. It's been there since the first ever one in 2018. But we never finished today. And the reason is because we ran out of room. Unless you guys can think of where the heck I can put the rest, we're done for today. And secondly, I have to record late night countdowns, and this video is probably going to take forever to upload anyway. Speaking of which, to hopefully ensure this gets up on the right day, I'm going to end it here. And also hopefully before um, it turns midnight. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I apologize we couldn't finish today. It's just you guys can tell there is no more room around here unless I can somehow find somewhere else that there's room that is around this area we're pretty much done for right now and again I gotta start getting everything ready and set up for Legos Island summer and uh about uh let's just say I want to say like 10 to 11 hours and yeah so, hey, at least we got something done today. That's at least something, okay? We'll come back to this. It might actually have to be during the first few days of Legos Island Summer. We're going to have to come back here during that. And uh, hopefully finish off the uh, Coping with Progress Server statues. Um, if I can actually find enough space. Another reason I can't continue right now is because i got to get ready for Lightning Countdowns as well. Since I realize we're not even that far away until I got to start doing that. So, yeah. I'll see you all in the next episode. Which is going to be for Legos Island Summer 2022, Episode 1. And then, maybe a few days later, we'll come back with another Legos Island episode. To hopefully finish off what we started today. Goodbye, everybody. And I'll see you later for Lightning Countdowns. If this doesn't come out before midnight. I highly doubt it will be. Hey. You never know.